The charting that is built into Best Direct 8 provides most of the popular indicators and studies desired by traders. To open a chart, click on Data and then select Charts. To initiate a chart, you'll first need to enter the symbol for the contract to be charted, and that goes in this field. If you're unsure of what the symbol is, you can click on the question mark, select your contract from this drop-down list, click OK, and then the exclamation point will load the chart. So this button loads the selected product you're trying to chart. It also refreshes an existing chart. When clicked, BestDirect8 will access a historic data server and retrieve the data needed to build the historic part of the chart. If streaming data is available, the chart will continue to update as new data arrives. You'll also notice that the information in the price bar has populated, and this is the price bar. It will give your current open, high, low, last, as well as bid and ask information. Next, you'll want to select your chart style from this drop-down list, and you have a number of options there. Then you'll want to select your chart interval. Um, it starts with a minimum of one minute, and it goes up to 60 minutes. Then you'll want to select your indicators from this drop-down list. Clicking on the drop-down arrow will drop down a list of your various indicators. So you'll select your indicator from the list and then click on the Add IND button. So we're simply going to select Simple Moving Average. Click on the Add IND button for Add Indicator. Apply that and now that indicator has been plotted to the chart. The Add IND button will plot the study or indicator selected from the indicator list. And please note that while it is up to the trader to understand what each indicator and study represent, there may be a webinar scheduled with more in-depth information on using the chart indicators. So please check our website at pfgbest.com for that information. Next are our zoom icons. The plus will obviously zoom in on the chart. The minus will zoom out and it allows you to zoom out on your chart. It will also make the spaces between the chart bars smaller, fitting more bars on the screen. And the plus will make the spaces between the chart bars larger, fitting fewer bars on the screen. The scrolls will allow you to either scroll left on the chart or scroll right on the chart. The zoom icon appears as a magnifying glass over your chart. So what you'll want to do is click and release the leftmost bar of the area to be zoomed, move your mouse to the rightmost bar of the area to be zoomed, and then click again. So now your chart is zoomed in on your selected area. And to unzoom the chart, simply right click on the chart and select Reset Zoom. We're going to go back to the right-click menus. Right-clicking anywhere on the chart will open the main pop-up menu showing a variety of chart options. The first is the drawing menu. It will give you several drawing tools to plot on your chart. After selecting your drawing tool, you will need to click on the chart at the beginning point and then again at an end point. After doing so, the selected draw function will be plotted on your chart using those points. And to clear any drawing tools from your chart, you'll simply want to click on the refresh icon. So we're going to select a trend line from the list and make your selection. Now that trend line has been plotted to the chart. Back to the right click menu. Uh, you have options to show crosshairs, and crosshairs will appear when your mouse is over the chart. The crosshair lines extend to the horizontal and vertical scales, making it easier to find exact times and prices on the scales. So there are your crosshairs. 
again at the, in the right click menu you have an option to select a standard bar style as well as a candle bar style and we're going to right click again uh, you're again given options for zooming in as well as scrolling and this reset zoom option clicking reset zoom works if the chart has been zoomed or scrolled it will restore the chart to its original appearance with the most recent data visible on the right hand side of the chart you're also given options to edit your chart settings so if I click on chart settings um, you can click on the color panel to change any of the settings so if I select downtick color and let's just say I'm, I'll select blue you apply that click OK apply that and now my downtick color has been changed and to go back to the default settings go back to chart settings and simply click on reset apply and now it's back to its def default settings back in the right click menu you're given options to load a template and it will load a template that has been previously saved a template may contain any lines indicators or studies saved on your chart one template can be used for different contracts as well and save template will let you save the current chart as a template for further use you're also given print options as well you'll notice that the time information is on the bottom of the chart as well as the price information along the right hand side of the chart clicking on these volume bars and then dragging the hand up will give you a more pronounced volume bar and we're going to click on the this icon to reset my chart so for further review of the charts panel you want to press on the F1 button on your keyboard to bring up a help menu for best direct eight charts.